Then the clinical examination continues with the assessment of the rotator cuff. The rotator cuff is a group of four uh, tendons which uh, mobilize the glenohumeral joint alone. It is uh, subscapularis. And if the patient turns around, is the supraspinatus, infraspinatus, and a much smaller teres minor at the back. We examine each one of them separately. First, we start with the biggest one, which is the uh, subscapularis. We ask the patient to do this, put their hands on their chest, elbows as forward as possible, and then we ask the patient to resist uh, posterior pressure. Okay? So keep your elbows here, don't let me push back. And this is how we assess subscapularis. Another test to assess the strength and the function of subscapularis is to ask the patient to flex slightly their uh, shoulder, flex elbow by 90 degrees, we position our hand on patient's palm and we ask the patient to pull our hand to touch their stomach. When subscapularis is intact, patient can do that, otherwise the patient cannot uh, overcome our resistance. And this is a modification of the lift-off test. Otherwise, we can use the lift-off test. We ask the patient to put their hand on ours, just behind their lumbar spine, and we ask the patient to push us away from them, and we resist. This is the lift-off test. The next muscle, which is the commonest to be involved in uh, pathology of rotator cuff, is the supraspinatus. Supraspinatus is the muscle which initiates abduction. So we ask the patient first to move their arms out like this, and we resist them. Push me away from you. This is the strength of supraspinatus. To further assess the function of the supraspinatus, we perform the emptying can test. We flex the shoulder by 90 degrees, abduct it to be at the same level as the scapula, and we do the same on the other side. We ask the patient to keep their thumbs upwards and resist uh, pressure against them. Keep your arms like this. Now we ask the patient to turn the arms round and the thumbs pointing down as if we empty a can. Resist my pressure. Any pain here? And this is the function of the supraspinatus. Emptying can test can be positive with supraspinatus rupture, tendinopathy or calcifications. For the rest of the rotator cuff tendons, the infraspinatus and teres minor, we ask the patient to flex the elbows by, and keep them by their side, slightly externally rotate and again resist uh, against our uh, our pressure, which is like this. If there is a massive rotator cuff tear with significant and complete rupture of the uh, external rotators, the teres minor and uh, infraspinatus, we have a positive lag sign. We uh, keep the arm in neutral position, support the elbow, externally rotate the forearm and the shoulder as possible, and then we leave the hand. When the hand is uh, left alone, it, is, it returns back automatically because there is no function of external rotators. This is a positive lag sign pathognomonic for posterior rotator cuff uh, tear. It's a complex joint incorporating the sternoclavicular joint, the acromioclavicular joint, the glenohumeral joint, and this is the scapular spine, supraspinatus and infraspinatus, and this is the deltoid.